Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this two-in-one walker and wheelchair. They actually call it a transfer chair. It's really cool. This is by VOCIC. That's the brand name, and they did send me this product for review. They wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. Now, it comes in a nice little package box like this, so there's definitely going to be some assembly required. So I'm going to open this up, and we're going to put this thing together, and I'm going to show you what it is and how it works. So let's take a peek inside and see what we get. Okay, I want to show you just how this is packed. You see it's very well packed. It has your instructions in it. I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of this and show you more details. Okay, here's everything that comes in the package. Again, you're going to get your uh, instruction manual. You're going to get two of these um, arms. It's the, the handle arms with a wheel. Uh, there's two of those. Uh, connected. You have two other wheels. I think those are the front wheels. These are the back wheels. You're going to get two foot holders. I'll show you more details of that in a minute. A package of um, some parts. These are the little things that screw all the stuff together. And then you're going to get your, your seat here. So this has got a whole seat with um, a foldable you know, a reversible back to it and a netting. Uh, once I get this all put together here, I'll show you more of the details of each of the compartments. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this together, just following the instructions, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, first step is to put the legs on. This is the, um, uh, the, the, the leg with the brake on it there. It just attaches in here. There's a little button you gotta press to push it in, and then we're gonna put the set screw in it like this. And we do that for both sides. Okay, we put the other wheels on, it has a bend. You gotta kinda pay attention to that. And then the screw goes through this side, which is the outside, so you wanna make sure you're getting the right um, uh, wheel on the right section. So that just goes in, this screws in like that. Um, the pictures are kind of vague, so you do have to figure this out a little bit on your own, but it's not too hard. Next is to put the handles in, and they just um, slide right in the hole like this. And you can see that they have different levels. So there's one through seven uh, levels. I'm gonna put it on the highest one for now because this is kind of what my mom likes is a higher handled one. We're gonna give this a try for her. So we'll just put it on that one for now. You can adjust it um, any way you like. And uh, I'm gonna do the other side. Next is the foot pedals and they just clip in like this. It's super simple, super easy. They just clip in like that. And then down here, we can see that um, it can fold up. So now you can fold these up if you need to, um, no problem. You can take them off, no problem. You can even take them and put them on the other side as a storage. Let's put that down, I'll show you here. You can put those in like this and keep them in. If you don't need to use them, you can just keep them in like that. Um, as a storage kind of thing. And then you're gonna to wanna to take it off. And so you can flip it down, take it off like that. And you can take them, flip them around to the front. It's very simple and easy to do. And I did that for both sides. And there's only one more piece. It's this little cup kind of thing. This is a cane holder. It just slips right onto this little button. You can move your cable out of the way, slap it in there. And now if you have a cane, you're gonna hold your cane here and then, uh, let me look up here and I'll show you the top part. If we come all the way up, there's a little attachment right here that the cane can go into as well. So you have a place to hold a cane. Okay, some of the cool features is this does have a seat belt here. So it has a little seat belt, uh, good for safety uh, for your passenger. We do have brakes. So we have the brakes for the uh, wheels. If you, if you need to brake for going downhill, you can do that. And it's also a lock. If you press it down, it locks into place just like that. The other thing is, is this um, backrest. So now you see that this is in walker mode. So you, you're over here, your walker mode, the, the uh, feet are towards the front. Here, you can take this and switch it around. It folds real easily. And this is a nice padded, uh, ventilated, type um, backrest, it's super big, that now you can flip it that way and use this as a, a wheelchair if you need to push somebody in there. Now there's also these little handles which will help somebody get up. So they have a nice little handrail. If they're sitting down, uh, you can get up. I can show you like this. You can help, help sit down. You can help get up like this as well. So that is really cool. The other thing is this is foldable. So you can lift up the seat 
like this. Well, here, let's put this down. You can lift the seat up, and or there's a little pocket here under the seat, the little hidden pocket, which is kind of cool. And there's a basket too, by the way. There's a nice little basket. You can take that off. A nice little basket up underneath. But if you're grabbing this bar here, you can grab it and pull this up, and that will fold up the walker for easy storage. Okay, it was very easy for mom to walk down the hall as you saw and I put her in it and was able to wheel her um, down the hall as well. Now again, this is a transfer chair. This is designed as a, as a walker. You can use it as a, as a full-time walker, not a problem. But as far as a wheelchair kind of thing, it's not really designed for that. But it's designed to go you know, from a house to a car, from a bed to a bathroom and things like that. It works out pretty well. Now the seat here, it does have some cushion to it, but it's not super, super comfortable. So again, not a long-term type of chair. Your uh, seat belt here does have some adjustments for different size uh, widths of people. The chair itself is kind of small, kind of narrow. So uh, again, depends on the width of the person going to be sitting down here you might have some restrictions with that. The brake cable here, um, it does have some slack to it and, and uh, you can snag things, uh, which we kind of almost did. <laughs> I would recommend that you put some zip ties or some Velcro. Now there is some Velcro right here, it looks like, that they do give you. Uh, there was really no information in the book about it, but I would just take this and Velcro this up to tie it into place. But you wanna make sure you have some slack um, for this because you can raise and lower this and you need to fold the chair itself. The other thing you want to do is we want to make sure that the chair is locked. If someone's sitting in this and they need to get up or sit down, you want to make sure the wheels are locked so the chair doesn't get away from them. Now down on the foot rests, they are foot rests. They're not designed to be stand on, so don't stand on them. Um, and they're not locked into place, so they're kind of um, loose in a way. So you want to be careful, but it's designed that way so you can take them off easily or move them around to the other side like I showed you before for storage. But they do work pretty well. And again, they're foldable so you can get them in and out of the way. So you see this is a very nice walker transfer chair, wheelchair kind of situation. If you are looking for something like this, this one may be the right one for you.